I've gotten the question multiple times on how do I hook up my propane to my roaster. So I'm gonna go over that really quick for you guys. Um, the first thing you'll need to do, and I'm going to take this off a little bit so you can see it better. Uh, you're going to want to order a uh, higher PSI gauge or regulator, sorry, for your roaster. You cannot use one that's for your bar barbecue. It doesn't have enough PSI, not enough pressure. You need something that goes, you need something that goes up to five PSI. I got a 30 PSI. They sell 20. I think they might have 10 PSI uh, regulators. But, you know, I got one, I got this one because it has this little thing and I recommend getting it with this because it'll help and I'll show you why in just a second how it helps. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook up my roaster and then my gas is obviously not on yet. Now, when you get your roaster and it's brand new, all of these will be, they should be shut off. So this is your, um, this is basically, if you read your manual, this one you adjust once and then you're done. And then this is your one, the one that you're utilizing while you're roasting to adjust your gas pressure. Okay. So, um, so, okay. So let's shut all this down. Now with the PSI, <laughs> funny enough, I'm going to turn off everything for you guys for demonstration purposes. So with the PSI, with this regulator, when I turn it to the left, that's actually shutting it, right? It's, it's counterintuitive, but it says it on here, which, which direction to go. Um, with this righty tidy is shutting as well. So I'm going to turn that and then this righty tidy is shutting. So I turned everything off. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick on my gas. I'm going to open my regulator. Now I should see gas pressure start to build up in my hose here. Now I see it. Now it's gone from, now you can't see this here because it's too small, but right now the, the, the PSI pressure has gone from zero to roughly five. Okay, five PSI. So now what I need to do is I need to go to this first one and I need to adjust this open just a little bit. I'm just going to open it, open it a quarter turn. Okay, and then on this one, I'm going to also open this just a quarter. Oops, I'm going to open it just a quarter turn. Now, I might totally choke the, the roaster out, but what I don't want to do, which is what most people do or some people do, and I've seen it and people get annoyed with it is, this KPA gauge that goes up to six, it, it doesn't go much beyond that. So if you pump an, enough pressure through, you will blow your gauge and you're gonna have to order a new one. Now you can get one on Amazon or Yoshan will, will ship you one if you need a new one, but it just, it slows you down. So it would suck if you like were so excited to use your roaster and then the next thing you know, you need to like get a new one. Uh, that would suck. So it slows you down about a week. And I've a, a few people who've reached out to me about this have done this. Okay. so. I've got my gas on. I've got my PSI pressure up. I've opened these a quarter a turn. I'm going to turn my roaster on. I've got air going and I've got my, my drum spinning. Wait, I've got, yeah, my drum is spinning. Just make sure your air is on at least to like 20 or so, just so you have some flow through. I've made the mistake of turning my gas on without air flow through. And actually you create this kind of vacuum and it, it, you could blow up uh, your roaster. It, it's, it's, you don't want to do that. So I'm going to hit this heat real quick. My heat heating button is my ignition button, just FYI. So I'm going to heat it. I'm going to keep my eye on my KPA. There should be some ignition here, but I don't want it to go so far so fast. And I shouldn't based on my settings, but just FYI. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so it went straight to six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just shut this down a little bit. And now I'm at a two and a half. I'm safe. So now I know that having this open a quarter turn is probably good. I'm just going to open it a little bit more just so I know. And that should, I should see a little bit of an adjustment. So now basically I'm allowing, I'm allowing just air to flow through or gas to flow through, right? This is just the shutoff valve completely from any of this moving through. So this is not adjusting anything really. This is where the minor adjustments and the major adjustment, you can see if I tap this thing, it starts to bump this needle. So now I'm going to adjust this. So righty tighty, that means it's going to go down and then lefty loosey, it goes all the way up to six and I can easily make adjustments here. So I'm good to go. And that's basically, I'm going to turn this off now. That's basically how you set up your, your, uh, your, your roaster. One thing I didn't talk about. Okay. Sorry. I forgot. Um, this hose, people ask me about how to hook up here, how to attach. 
This hose, when you purchase it, comes with a screw-on attachment for an adapter that would be here that did not exist on my roaster. This one, mine was like a push-on, and then you need a clamp. So rather than changing my push-on adapter, I just cut the hose. Because if mine comes with a, I, I got mine with a rubber hose on purpose. I cut the hose, and then I bought a clamp. I, you know, this is the same size, standard size hose that you can get at like a normal regulator that you would get when you're purchasing a barbecue at, at Lowe's or Home Depot. So it's the same size hose. So what I did was I went to Home Depot. I found one of these hoses. I walked around. I found the clamp that was like 75 cents. And then I came home, cut my hose with that clamp, and then I attached it. So here's what you need to do. When you attach this, right, you're going to push it on. You can, um, uh, you, you, you could, you know, you'll probably need a little bit of force to kind of wedge it on. Uh, make sure you put the clamp on first and then wedge it on so this way it's on. And then you're going to start tightening up your clamp as far as you think you need to go. Now, how do you know when there's no gas leaking? What you do is you take dish soap, you mix it with water, and then you drip it over this. You turn the gas on. You don't even have to put this gas on. You don't have to let the fire go. You just have to have pressure inside because if the pressure is getting out, if the gas is getting out, you have to have this on, obviously, your gas and your, and your PSIs have to be up. But once the, even this, if this is shut off or it's not running, it's not going to go. So you, then you drip over this little spot where you see the yellow here, you drip over that spot. And if bubbles start to appear, it's because you have pressure loss, right? And the gas is leaking out. You tighten your clamp, bubbles still coming out. Keep tightening your clamp. Once the bubbles stop, you're done. Okay. So that's it. So then you're fine. And then there shouldn't be any more leaks. You could check it down the line. There's no reason why it would start to leak for any reason. Uh, and you should be good to go. And that's basically, that's how I did my setup. Um, some people have bought the adapters. Uh, I know another, a guy in, in, in the community has bought the adapter and attached to his roaster and you know, whatever I, this was quick. I was set. I, I just one trip to Lowe's and I was good to go. Um, so yeah, if you guys have questions, leave questions in the comments. If you like this kind of stuff, like and follow the the uh, the the, uh, the the channel. Uh, if you have questions about purchasing a Yoshan roaster, please reach out to me. Um, I can oftentimes get you a discount on the roaster. I can get you some additional free gifts from Yoshan. They love the fact that I'm making this content, so they've said if people come through me, they'll offer them uh, uh, discounts and and kind of perks for coming through me. So. Uh, if you like this stuff, then reach out to me, Rob, at ocdcoffeeclub.com or hit me up in the comments here and I'll shoot you my email. And, uh, and I'm happy to make that introduction for you so you can get that discount. All right, guys. Have a good one. Happy roasting. Talk to you soon.